That's why I get it. That's why I get it. Oh. You ready? Yeah. All right. YouTube, what up, though? Welcome to the crib, man. We got another shoe review. This one is an early look. I'm gonna start getting some early looks in for you guys, man, to give y'all some information regarding shoes that's that's pretty hot, man. The hype is dying down. We can buy sneakers again, y'all. For us collectors, we can buy sneakers again, man. So anyway, welcome to my channel, man. If this is your first time watching, if you like sneakers and you like uh, uh, shoe reviews, mall vlogs, pickup vlogs, and just a lifestyle channel, if that entertains you, then you're in the right place, man. Appreciate you, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends, man. And let's grow. You know, we going up there, y'all. We got a dope shoe today, an early review, and it'll be a deep dive into the review. A little bit of history lesson on the shoe as well, on the silhouette and uh, the designer behind the silhouette. Y'all seen the thumbnail, so you already know what it is. So I ain't even gonna keep a secret from y'all. So let's dig right into it. Boom! Got the Jordan box, the old school Jordan box back again with the elephant print. You got the 10 and a half personal size. So uh, these came from GOAT, y'all. Probably about 40 bucks over retail. Uh, I wanted to grab them early to get you guys some content for y'all who are contemplating grabbing these or not. Um, for me, this is a grail. So shoe grails for me are shoes that MJ wore and he performed extraordinary in. Well, he performed extraordinary in every shoe, but these are definitely a grail for me personally. Um, probably one of my top shoes of this year, man, so far. We still got a couple more months left in the year, a couple more heaters that's, that's due to come out. So, hey, check it out. These beauties right here, man. Oh, it's so addicting, oh my gosh, but. You got your fire red threes, man. Oh my goodness. Fire red threes, man. These were on the calendar. They slated to release uh, to the public. Super GR shoe. Shouldn't be that tough for you guys to grab it. Um, it's slated to come out September 10th, which is in a couple weeks. We're in the middle of August right now, so a little less than a month. Uh, they should be out. So I got this early review for y'all to go into details on, on the materials and take a look at the shoe. So if you're on the fence about buying it or not, Hopefully after you watch this video, you're gonna be like, I'm grabbing those. But uh, again, grabbing from GOAT, so you know all my stuff is official. No fugaziness over here, no fake stuff over here. This is Tinker Hatfield's first shoe with, with, with uh, Jordan brand. The cut of the shoe is the, I mean, when, when did the shoe come out, 88? So what's that, 32 years? Is that 32 years, babe? 88, and what we in, 2022, 30? Four years, 34 years, y'all, since we've seen uh, this iteration of the model. They've had different releases of the Fire Red, but the elephant print was darker. It had the Jordan logo on the back, and the cut was a little bit more boxy. This one is cut almost identical to the OG from 88, has the Nike Air, and the elephant print is very, 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 very close to the actual OG from 1988. So beautiful shoe man i mean this 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 was a no-brainer when i seen it on goat for just like 40 bucks over retail it was a no-brainer man so i paid a little bit more than that because i got the express shipping i've been sitting on these for a minute but um yeah man this was a no-brainer let's take a look at the shoe as we get a little history lesson for you youngsters while we go through the shoe so we're going to start off with the sole the sole is your typical jordan 3 sole with the nike branding on the bottom and again, with this shoe, you come up to the midsole. Uh, the midsole got that fire red wrapped around probably about three quarters of the shoe. And it stops right there on the medial side. And you got your exposed air, air unit right there, which this was the first actual basketball shoe with the exposed air unit. So um, as my Jordan encyclopedia relates it, it's like he was really literally uh, walking on air so yeah so anyway and then you come around you got the the infamous elephant print man this elephant print it was cutting edge the shoe was cutting edge first of all the shoe was a uh, three-quarter it wasn't a high top the jordan ones were highs the jordan twos were highs jordan three tinker hatfield come in kill the game he gives them a three-quarter shoe 
and he gives him the exposed air air max unit and he gives him the elephant print i mean and he took the wings logo got rid of the wings logo as you guys know from the jordan ones and jordan twos and he put the jump man logo on here so tinker was a mad scientist when he did these shoes i can definitely understand why mj says these are one of his favorites so uh i remember seeing something it was either a video or i read an article and and they asked mj what is his favorite pair uh, of shoes you know of his shoes and he said his shoes are like his kids man he can't it's hard for him to judge but he said if he had to the threes were his number one pick and uh concourse those were like 1a 1b the 11s and the threes was like 1a 1b and i forget i think the 13s so correct me if i'm wrong comment down below if you've seen that interview but anyway back to the shoe uh tinker killed it man with this shoe so as we left off on the midsole we got the uh the elephant print wrapped around the heel wrapped around the toe box and then we come around to the back with the nike air oh man that brings so much nostalgia back every time i see this nike air on the back of these threes the fours the fives even the sixes when i see nike air on the back i think of mars blackman do you know do you know do you know the best playing game is me mars blackman and i'm way above the rim demonstrate some serious hang time very serious do you know how i get up for my game do you know do you know do you know that's right air jordan air jordan air jordan mike what's up oh m money money why you want to do that to me why you leave me hanging come on i got it oh mike man that's cold man I mean, goodness, bro. Uh, these are so dope, man. It's taking me back, man. I love this shoe. I'm gonna have to double up. Oh, release day. These come out September 10th. So be prepared, man. Check y'all foot traffic and sites. These, will, these are a GR, so they will be available. If you wanna avoid all that hassle and avoid taking L's, then pay that extra cheese and go on and grab them off GOAT or StockX. I prefer GOAT, but you know, grab them early, man. So. But I'm definitely going to try to grab a second pair for the, for the retail. So if we come up, we got the uh, come up a little bit higher on the shoe. You got your smooth leather that's go right above the elephant print. And then you got your tumble leather. Again, another cutting edge uh, fact about uh, this sneaker. This was the first basketball shoe also with that tumble leather. So you see how, how Tinker came in and changed the game. You can understand definitely. Why MJ say, hey, this was my favorite. So one of his favorites. So then we come up to the perforated uh, holes around, around the ankle. You got your gray sock liner. You got your red tongue liner. The stitch MJ off the good leather on the tongue. Again, man, that Nike Air on the behind. And then you come up right here, the eyelets. You got the red eyelets. You got the, uh, the perforated gray around the uh, eyelids as well man around the tongue so dope shoe man just totally totally dope shoe so this takes me back man back when these came out 88 i was probably like 10 something like that man so i wasn't at that age where my mom was buying me hundred dollar shoes so these are definitely um i'm definitely pleased with these and the quality is good too i don't see much paint uh you know missing paint glue marks or nothing like that another cool fact about these shoes why i think um why i think mj said these was his favorite that 87 88 season um chicago went 50 and 32 so that's definitely an upgrade uh what else happened he got like every award that year he won defensive player of the year he led the league in scoring he won mvp First team all NBA, first team all defense, slam dunk champion. Mm -hmm. Like, he got, got his team out the first round in like 17 years since like 1974. Like, dude was killing it in these boys, man. Not necessarily just these, he had the, the three silhouette, but he was wearing these during the regular season, some games, some home games, so, and some road games. So, but anyway, you know, I can definitely understand why he said these was his, uh, one of his favorite uh, uh, silhouettes, one of his favorite shoes. Because, I mean, I, as a huge MJ fan, I didn't even realize that he did all of that wearing the Jordan 3. So, 
that's dope. Just a cool fact for you guys sticking your back pocket. You know what I'm saying? Also, that came with it. It came with the little informational sleeve. See, it's stuff like this, Jordan brand. And hey, you guys do stuff like this. Really breaks down the shoe. It's beautiful, man. It gives us, you know, I don't know if y'all can remember. Remember back in the day, you used to have the Jordan cards. Used to come with all the J's. Used to have the cards and they have all the the J's and highlight which one and give you a little cool information about it. Stuff like that. The packaging, man. It has meaning behind it. So I like stuff that means stuff, man. And this is dope, man. I'm really pleased with this with this pickup. So, but anyway, giveaway details. So uh, what you a couple things that you need to do to be entered into the giveaway is step one. You should already be sub to this channel. If you're not sub to this channel and like the video. So we will confirm when we do the winners, when we have the drawing, we will confirm that you're following this channel and my IG uh, page. So step two, you're gonna go over to IG. I'm gonna create a post with a picture of the Fire Red 3s. And all you have to do is like it. And then in the comment section on that post, just comment a sneaker emoji. That shows me that you listen to the instructions and you know how to follow directions and you watch the video all the way to the end. And then the last step, just tag a friend in uh, that does not follow me. So again, you should be following the YouTube channel, liking and subscribing. Then go over to IG, like the post, comment with a sneaker emoji, and then tag a friend. And then you'll be entering into the giveaway and it'll be all random. It'll be totally random. It'll be worth your while. As we get further and further along, as the comments start to build on that post on Instagram, I'll give you guys more details on the prize and who win and the dates that we're going to release the winner. So winner or winners, possibly winners. This depends. So, hey, again, thank you all for watching, man. Appreciate you guys. Love you to death, man. Y'all be safe out there. And if you grinding, keep making noise until somebody hear you. All right, y'all. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.